Kylan Hill, running back, Mississippi State, 5'11", 210. Hill is one of the running back prospects I'm most intrigued with in the mid to late rounds of the draft. His upside and ceiling are really high as he has the athletic ability and movement skills needed to be a great running back in the NFL. However, he needs to fine-tune and improve the nuances of the position in order for him to get to that level. Mississippi State versus Louisiana. Hills lined up in the backfield. He's going to take this handoff on inside zone, and he's going to press inside, bounce it to the outside quickly, and then get back upfield. And then look at this move here. Boom, look at that. That is highly impressive. Remarkable movement skills in the second level to be able to make defenders miss like that. That's super impressive. And I'm going to slow it down so you can fully appreciate just how, how well he moves in space here. And there are going to be other clips I want to show you that showcase this. His movement skills, his quickness, light feet, his ability in open field. Is it's top notch. Southern Miss versus Mississippi State now, and watch Colin Hill another inside zone run, get into the next level, and just more defenders miss tackles, leaps a defender there. His movement skills, his ability to force these miss tackles, is just super impressive to me. I'm gonna show you in slow mo, inside zone. Gets to that outside open space. Makes that defender miss. Just bullies that one defender to keep his balance. So good contact balance there. And then the athleticism and light feet to hurdle. He just clears that defender. Just up and over. Clears him outright. Great athleticism. Now let's see Hill show off some of his receiving ability. He's in the backfield. He's going to run up the seam. And look at, the, look at him pluck this ball out of midair. Goes high, just grabs it smoothly. Really good hands by Hill there. One of the things I always talk about when it comes to what separates the special running backs from the ordinary running backs is that the special ones are able to really create for themselves, especially when things break down behind the line of scrimmage. And we're going to see Hill here do just that. Look at all that penetration, but he's going to fight through all these arm tackles and he gets into the second level to pick up yards where he should have been tackled for a loss. That was a previous play, so here it is again. Avoids that tackler. All these arm tackles, I mean, they're not good tackle attempts, but they're still quality, quality defenders that are around you, surrounding you, and to be able to... Avoid all of them and just fight through all that color, all that white, to get a positive gain out of that. That's that's really good stuff by Hill. Okay, so I've been talking a lot about what Hill does really well, which is his movement skills, athletic ability in open space. And that's all fine and dandy, but there are things that he has to work on in terms of the nuances of the position. And one of the things is just staying under control, having more efficient footwork behind the line of scrimmage. Watch him take this. This is going to be a wham play. And see this gap here? If he just stays more under control and isn't so drastic and dramatic with this cut here, because he stays, he goes all the way to the outside here. It's so wide where if it was more narrow, he'd be able to attack this hole right here. Get up in this lane. But because that cut was so wide, now he's right in front of these two defenders with nowhere to go. So he puts his head down. Minimal gain that could have gone for more. Here's another run against Texas A&M again. And this time... He's going to bounce it to the outside, and I'm going to pause it here. Look at the green grass. He's got a blocker here with good leverage, and then this backside defender is pursuing him, but he has enough room to get it upfield. Get upfield, get some positive yards. 
you're pretty much one on one with this defender here, you can get a good gain. But instead, he's going to continue to take it to the outside. And by doing so, he doesn't get as many yards as he could have. So he's got to do a better job getting north south and not relying on his athleticism too much to pick up big games on the outside. Now let's go back to Hill's ability as a receiver. He's in the backfield. He's going to run an angle route, get into the second level. He's one-on-one -on -one with number 18. And he's going to make a good contested catch here. And then he's into open field. And again, look at the contact balance. Ability to force missed tackles is really, really impressive. So another good reception, good run after the catch ability here by Hill. The last play I'm going to show, it's another rep showing his receiving ability. So he's got the versatility. Hill's going to run a wheel route out of the backfield. And just watch him make this play. Great job extending outside of his frame to, to bring that ball in. Makes that defender miss and then he turns on the afterburners. He's into the end zone for the touchdown. Hill is such, he's a high upside prospect. He might not be selected to the middle to late rounds. But I'm telling you, his upside is so high because of his ability to make plays like this. He's got such great athleticism. He's just got to learn the little things as a running back. But if he does, he develops in that manner. Don't be surprised if he's one of the better running, running backs that comes out of this draft class.